Pronunciation is really important because if you know how to write it but you don't pronunciate it, pronounce it, it, <laughs> you pro pronounce it well, then uh, they s they will still not understand you, and uh, they won't do it on purpose. But sometimes, like I've heard Americans sometimes come to the Netherlands and they say boss. Uh, they say boss instead of boss because they, they think it's pronounced that way and it's a completely different meaning of the word. So you need to learn to pronounce it uh, the right way and that is the basis for everything else. Uh, if, uh, if you don't pronounce it well, a Dutch person is just going to say What? 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 Ik versta je niet. I understand you not or I don't understand you. Wat zeg je? What are you saying? What say you? That's that's what they'll ask. Like, huh? What say you? Uh, and some people might even say, "Hey, uh, ben je gek of zo? Yeah? Ben je gek of zo? Are you crazy or something?" So we don't want that to happen. So we want to pronounce the Dutch language the right way. Okay. Rule number one is to have short vowels. Uh, Americans and, and the British, actually the whole English language is all this ah, oh, eh, oh, ow. And, and the Dutch, a lot of things are very short. You'll hear that too if you hear somebody speak with a Dutch accent. They will speak like this and, and it's all short. Rule number two is there's no th different pronunciation. So uh, in other words, they might have THs there that they're like little leftovers from Greek origins or something like uh, theolog or the or theorie. Uh, theorie and theolog come from ancient Greek, but they, they just say them as the, the t instead of the th. The th is totally unfamiliar to the Dutch and uh, when they try to pronounce it, they usually turn it into a D or an F. Uh, I said the faith uh, instead of uh, the faith when I first arrived in the United States. So um, that's what they do. So just pronounce it as a T. Uh, then there is the, the kh and the kh sound is very peculiar. It's, it's very uh, typical for the Dutch language. And I don't know if you like that guttural sound, but that's what they use a lot. And it could either be a G or a CH. Both are pronounced the exact same way. Uh, and here's some examples. So chaos, groen, geven, gek, kachel, groot, gat, pech, pagina, goor, gapen, gedoe, wacht, en dicht. And all of those words have the ch in there. And the more you go up north, the more harsh it becomes. It's more like a ch. And, and if you go down south, if you go to Belgium and, and the southern provinces in the Netherlands, they have more like a ch. So they say jaos and groen and jeven. And so so it's, it's very different. Okay, uh, number four, uh, we're talking, talking about the R. So it could be either like the American R, like her, or it could be R. It's almost like the French R or the, it sounds a little bit like the H, but it's not H, it's R. So uh, here's some examples. Uh, rood, ver, heer, teer, rove. Rat, bar, kar, kreeft, raaf, beter, kever. And the only moments that you pronounce the R like uh, an, uh, an English R is when it's at the end of the word. So I could say ver or I can say ver. And both of those are correct. So heer or, or heer can be correct or kever or kever. And that's both correct. Uh, it's probably easier for you to say kever, but yeah, kever is also used. So, but not if it's in the beginning or in the middle. So you can't say rood, that, that's different. That, that's incorrect, they wouldn't say it that way. So you say rood um, or, or kreeft, you can't say, you can't say kreeft. Uh, that, that sounds too English. And then they hear your accent, so you say kreeft. Rule number five is about the e, uh, and the e uh sound is very common in Dutch. So it's like birth or like uh, urgent. So birth or uh, fur or that's that's the e uh sound, and the e uh is usually an, a u, 
but it can be different letters too. And you'll notice that when we, when we talk about it. Rule number six, there are three uses for the letter E. And the first is as in letter, so it's like E, uh, letter, or bet, or bet. Or bed or bet, yeah. So, so it's an S sound. And the second, it's like in urgent or in mercury. So in English they do it too. They say mercury, but it's not an uh, it's an it's an E, right? So in Dutch they do that too. And the third is as in hay or bay or bait. So the, the third sound when, when the E be, becomes a different um, sound is the A. So it's either E, E, or A, which can be very confusing, of course, but we'll talk about the rules of when they are one or the other. Here are some examples with the letter E or A in Dutch. Veters, gebrek, so first it's an E and then an E. Lekke, so here it's first an, an E and then an E. Gegeten, verder, gever, vet. Stede. So in stede, it's first an A and then an E. Rule number seven is don't blow. So don't blow the sounds. The, the English speaking um, countries have a, have a way of going k or p or t. And, and the Dutch don't do that. It's, it's more like k or t or p. Uh, so so this is, uh, these, these words are beker. So it's not beker, it's beker. It's not tucken, tucken, but it's tucken. See, hear the difference? Tucken. So you don't blow the T, you don't blow the K. Ketting, kapot, boeken, kaak, kast, papagai, teen, kraan. So none of those sounds are blown. Rule number eight, we're going to talk about the W. In English, you pronounce W as W. Like it's, it's big sound, it's like W. In Dutch, it's more between the V and the W, so it's W. So it's not V, V is a V, right? But it's, it's almost a V, so it's W, okay? Not W, but W, okay? So these words are, are pronounced as following. Weten. Wanneer, wat, wegwezen, wakker, worden, water, wet, westen, waarom. And as you can hear, it's almost like a V, but it's a W. And the sound doesn't really exist in English. And the English always go W. So the Dutch use less of the big mouth in their sound. Rule number nine, if you find a D at the end of the word, in English, they pronounce it all the way. So for example, if you have the word bed, they say bed. That, that's what you do in English. But in Dutch, the D becomes a T. They don't like the D at the end. So they say hart, paard, gerent, rond, moord. So you have to pronounce it as if there are, was a T. And it's only at the end of the word that they do that. 